<laughs> we get specifically now to the culpability of coach Theodore Tapper Whitmore for the early state of the World Cup campaign. Does he deserve the beatings he's getting? For sure, the buck stops with the coach. But my biggest issue with Tapper is that he was trying to mold a national team without a midfield. And football cannot play without midfield. And it is so ironic that to this day, Tapper seems to have something against players with skill and ball handling ability. And that is why Jamaica's team under Tapper always played pitchy patchy football. Even while he was getting the results, the team played ugly football. And we never got the impression that the team was ever settled. And with the increased quality and intensity of the qualifiers, the ugly kicker run out of position football gonna look even worse and will not win a lot of games. So yes, Tapper is to be blamed for gassing up the other extremists who in turn overreacted by sending for the English Calvary, which totally discombobulated the balance of the team. But the good thing is, this is happening early in the qualifiers. We still have 36 points to play for, starting with the game against Costa Rica, when coach Theodore Tapper Whitmore will be looking to get the train back on track. Yes. <laughs> What is that? What is that? What is that?